A very good afternoon. You're watching News 9 with me, Akshita. Well, after all the controversy, the pictures that the controversial ADGP allegedly took in the cafe in Cunningham Road have emerged. These are the pictures taken of the journalist in the cafe in Cunningham Road. In fact, these were the pictures discovered in the ADGP's mobile phone that we do now have access to. And uh, as you can see, the pictures are very, very obscene to say in the least. Of course, we understand uh, that the two girls were sitting right opposite him and it is alleged that he took the picture. Now, while the, uh, this picture has emerged, the ADGP, of course, in the past has gone on to state that uh, the person who took the phone from him, uh, uh, who's been identified as Sridhar, clicked these pictures as soon after he was uh, taken in to High Grounds Police Station. What is the truth? Well, we'll have to wait for more information on that. But these are the pictures that have been discovered on the ADGP's phone. My colleague uh, Nishita joins us over the phone lines with more uh, information. Nishita, going by the picture that we do have access to, it definitely looks like uh, an obscene picture was clicked. But the question is, was it the ADGP who took it or Sridhar as he claims? Well, that's right. In fact, that is the investigation being carried out at the moment, he claims. Uh, according to what the ADGP has to say, uh, he did not have a possession of his phone for a very long time. And that is when, uh, because this, is, this entire issue has been a conspiracy, uh, uh, the, the phone has been taken and uh, the picture has been clicked just to malign the image of uh, ADGP P. Ravindranath. But this is the picture that has been found. But as per reports, uh, Akshita, there were two pictures that were found. Of course, we have received only one so far. There were two pictures that were found on the, the ADGP's mobile phone, and both uh, were fairly obscene pictures. And there was another picture that was clicked uh, about uh, 20 days before uh, this incident had come to light. Around May 8th, uh, this picture was clicked, and that too was an obscene picture. Uh, so keeping all this in mind, the ADGP seems to be in a tight spot at the moment. But of course, as per his claims, uh, he has not even clicked this picture and that the picture itself has been clicked by that man, Sridhar, in question because the phone was not in his possession. And that the phone was, a, was given to Sridhar by the police official in, himself instead of taking uh, custody of the phone. Now, these are uh, the details that have uh, been given out by P. Ravindranath. P. Ravindranath. Now, he certainly seems to be in the back foot as of now after uh, the allegations that he hurled against uh, Raghavendra or Rathkar were uh, proved false. The investigations gave him a clean shit. He was forced to withdraw his resignation as, his in as the investigation said that, uh, that there was nothing wrong that Rave Raghavendra or Rathkar had done and that he had not violated any law and that he had not discriminated against uh, P. Ravindranath. Now with this picture also emerging with two other pictures being there, certainly P. Ravindranath seems to be in a tight spot, Akshita. Absolutely, uh, Nishita. All this while, of course, he has been pleading innocence. But with these pictures now being released, uh, the CID will definitely have a lot of investigating to do. They've, in fact, we understand, sent his phone all the way to Gujarat to the forensics team to find out exactly what time this picture was clicked. Uh, and maybe that will give us clues as to whether, in fact, he took the picture or, as he claims, uh, the other man, Sridhar, took the picture. Absolutely. In fact, the phone uh, before uh, it was seized by the officials was uh, has exchanged many hands, has gone into Sridhar's hand, has gone to the police officials' hand, has also gone to uh, the uh, one of uh, one of uh, the higher-ranked police officials against whom uh, uh, P. Ravindranath had filed the case, has gone to his hand, and has also reached P. Ravindranath himself. So it has changed almost four to five hands. So any sort of uh, tampering could have been done, and that's the reason why it has been sent all the way to Gujarat for uh, forensic tests, uh, Akshita, so that exact detail of when the picture was clicked, what time it was clicked, and then corroborated with the statements that have been given out by Sridhar, by the two girls, as well as uh, 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 P. Ravindranath himself, corroborated with these details, and then probably come to a conclusion as to who exactly uh, clicked the picture. But certainly, uh, this uh, if, if uh, this picture is indeed clicked by P. Ravindranath, and if he's the one shouting on top of uh, the hill that he is innocent, he is innocent, then uh, certainly uh, a, a huge, huge embarrassment for the police department as well and uh, something that uh, P. Ravindranath uh, should be held responsible for, Akshata. 
Right, uh, Nishita, thank you so much for joining us with all those details. But uh, this is the picture that has been found on uh, uh, the former KSRP ADGP, Dr. Ravindra Rath, on his phone. And, uh, of course, uh, they will have to f conduct further investigations to find out whether it was Ravindra Rath who clicked this picture or the other man who took his phone from him, uh, who has been identified as Sridhar. Remember, Sridhar is said to have had custody of the ADGP's phone for quite some time. So if, in fact, the ADGP has... Uh, is saying the truth that it is a conspiracy. We could be looking at some startling uh, details being discovered. No doubt this is uh, a very obscene picture and with uh, this picture being found in the ADGP's mobile phone, he may be in a spot of bother. But keep in mind that in the past he's not exactly stated that there is no picture on his phone. He stated that he did not click it and that there's a huge likelihood that whoever got his phone soon after for the many hours that his phone was missing could have taken that picture, could have planted the picture in his phone. The CID as of now has sent the ADGP's phone to Gujarat where in fact they are going ahead and conducting investigations to a forensic team who will discover exactly what time this picture was taken and that to a large extent will help determine exactly who took it. Was it Ravindranath or someone else who took the picture and put it in there to frame him? And, uh, of course, uh, this is the exclusive picture that we have uh, accessed. As you can see, there's no doubt it is a very obscene picture. The question is, will the ADGP plead innocence? Will he state, of course, that someone else took this picture or even state that it was a picture taken by mistake? And no doubt, seeing this, there will be a lot of people who will doubt him, who will say that, yes, he is definitely guilty. And uh, no question, this picture comes as a big, big blow to him. But we will have to wait and watch to see how it pans out how the investigations uh, do in fact uh, go forward and whether it will reveal if the ADGP is guilty or not. What we also need to keep in mind is that during the course of the investigations it is understood that the CID also found an other similar obscene picture on the ADGP's phone which was dated back all the way to March 5th. So no doubt that also will lead to quite a bit of scrutiny and questions with regards to whether the ADGP is guilty or not. Well, uh, coming back uh, to you, uh, Nishita, there's no doubt that uh, this particular picture will create uh, a huge dark cloud for the ADGP of sorts. And what we have to keep in mind is that sources revealed to us during the CID investigations, they found another similar obscene picture taken way back in March. That's right. Uh, in fact, in March also, there was a picture that was found that was clicked in a very obscene manner. So if uh, P. Ravindranath is claiming that this picture is a conspiracy and that it is not clicked by him and that it is clicked by uh, the individual in question, uh, uh, Sridhar, then who clicked the March picture? Does it uh, show off any sort of uh, uh, pattern, the way in which uh, he behaved? Uh, now, these are the questions being raised. Of course, questions will be raised on uh, uh, the, the character of uh, P. Ravindranath for being a cop of that level, for being an ADGP and then such a picture being found on his phone. But of course, investigations will only remain the truth, uh, Akshita. But now, of course, uh, the drive against P. Ravindranath, as far as investigations are concerned, will only uh, get stronger. And uh, this uh, strong drive uh, will be, uh, in fact, uh, very denting uh, to his uh, image, uh, considering that P. Ravindranath has been shouting uh, from on top of the hill that he is innocent and that, it, it, and that the entire uh, uh, controversy is a conspiracy to malign his image. And as I mentioned earlier, Akshita, he's pretty much on the back foot at this point in time. He was uh, forced to withdraw his resignation, considering that the allegations against uh, 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 Raghavindra Aradkar were disproven, the allegations that he made that he had discriminated against him based on his caste have been uh, disproven. So based on uh, these reports, uh, we can comfortably say that P. Ravindranath seems to be on a back foot at the moment. But this is the picture that has emerged. Uh, looking at the angle of the picture, clearly it is not something uh, that, that has good intentions in mind, if we can assume uh, that, uh, Akshita. Uh, the picture has been uh, uh, clicked in such a manner that uh, it does not show the face of uh, the woman. It, it, it seems to be completely tilted in its angle. And although he claimed that the picture was face towards the wall, 
he could not have possibly uh, not missed out on clicking this picture or clicked it by mistake. And if he claimed that Sridhar did so, then why would the girl allow Sridhar to do so, considering that the girl is seen just seated uh, in the coffee shop? So she will obviously not pose for uh, Sridhar unless she too is involved in what uh, in this so-called conspiracy uh, by um, uh, Raghavendra or Radhkar as per the claims of P. Ravindranath. So several questions being raised. Of course, the answers can be given out by the forensic expert officials. The answers will be given out by uh, the investigating officials themselves, Akshita. Absolutely, Akshita. Thank you so much for joining us with all those details. No doubt there are a lot of questions in this case. And with this photo emerging, a lot more curiosity as to exactly who is responsible for clicking this kind of an obscene picture. No doubt whoever is responsible will have to pay the ultimate price because it's very obvious going by the picture that it was very intentional. The girl's picture, uh, in fact, you can see that her face is not taken. It is clearly very, very uh, obscene. So, of course, whether it's the ADGP or whether it's someone else that only the investigations can reveal. But there are certainly a lot of question marks as to how this kind of a picture could be a conspiracy, how he could have been framed, uh, considering, of course, the ADGP claims that someone else took the picture. What we have to keep in mind is that you can clearly see in the picture that the girl is seated in uh, the cafe and uh, she is seated in the exact same angle that we noticed earlier during that incident that the ADGP was seated right opposite the girl and it looks like the angle if, as far as you can see it is clearly from right opposite where the girl is sitting so of course uh, it looks like this could come as a spot of bother for the ADGP who has uh, been uh, pleading in a sense ever since this case came to light And of course, uh, we have been trying to contact uh, the ADGP to find out his reaction to the same, uh, what is his theory and what he claims is the truth. But uh, he, of course, uh, failed to pick up his phone. We will try to contact him later as well to get his reaction on the same. Of course, he has been claiming that it is a conspiracy that someone else could have clicked the picture and planted it in his phone, keeping in mind that he did not have his phone uh, for the next few hours. But uh, several question marks to that claim as well, considering that the girl is still seated in the cafe. And if he claims it's a conspiracy, there's no doubt that the girl too should have been involved. And that's what he is hinting towards.